Hi there, my name's Corey and I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up and customize your iPhone or your iPad website using Appify WP and WordPress. So switching over to the admin console, when you install and activate Appify WP, you get an entire options page which has tons of things to help you customize your experience on your website. We'll fill out the app name. We'll fill out your app description. And we'll go ahead and put in an app store URL. So let's just take it as is, save the changes, and refresh our site and see how it looks. You can see that all the information I've put in is now here. An app store button appeared that links off to the app store and another App Store button has appeared in the widget area. Let's go ahead and uh, build up a slideshow. All right, so we have those URLs pasted in there and I would like to autoplay the slideshow which will uh, automatically rotate through all your screenshots when visitors come to your page. And let's see it in action. We'll save it and we'll refresh the page and now we have a beautiful slideshow that automatically plays through all the screenshots that I updated. It... Appify also has some social links, we'll add those. Okay, let's save changes and we'll refresh the page. And you can see that these two beautiful icons appeared so that your visitors can keep in touch with you over the social networks that you choose. Now that we have the top section built, let's uh, fill out some of the center content area. Appify WP works through pages in WordPress. So let's switch over to the admin section. You can see that under pages, I've built out a few pages here that have general content that you might like. I can use a custom menu to completely control what pages of content that I'd like to show on my homepage in the order that I'd like to show them in. So for example, if I want features below press, all I have to do is drag and drop it, hit save, and it will reorder them on my home page. Let's take a look. Hit save menu, and we'll save that as my primary navigation. Now when I refresh, the left column shows all the different sections of pages that I added, and it loads the content in here automatically. This makes setting up and customizing your iPhone or iPad app website really easy and very customizable. Now let's go in and upload our app icon. In Appify WP we use the header section. Let's upload the file. I'm just going to upload my app icon which I resized to 80 pixels by 80 pixels to make it really crisp. There it is. We'll hit save changes and we'll refresh the app. And now I can see my app icon up here in the upper left. Appify WP also integrates with WordPress 3.0 custom background options. So if you wanna customize your background, let's say I want to put a slight blue tint to the background color, since I have a blue icon. All I do is change it here, hit save. And when I refresh, it loads in the new background color. And you can see that the buttons are nice and transparent so that no matter which background color you choose, the design will work. On top of that, you can also choose from several custom background textures that I've developed just for Appify WP. You can choose between fabric, wall, or wood. Let's choose the wood texture. And we'll hit save refresh our site. Now we have a nice grainy texture on the background. Now let's customize our sidebar. Right now the default comes with archives, meta, and some other stuff. I don't want that. As an iPhone developer, I want to put some special stuff over there. So we'll go over to widgets and we will drag over this custom text that I wrote for some requirements and some other custom text that I wrote for testimonials. We'll put the testimonials above it. 
Now, let's refresh the page again. As you can see, Appify WP is fully compatible with all widgets, so you can really customize your site however you want. Thanks a lot for taking the time to check out this demo. I hope you enjoyed it.